Hey, this is the Villain Report, here interviewing people at Chaz in Seattle in the Occupy movement and the uh, movement of the police departments. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. What can I call you? Sunbeam. Sunbeam, all right. Uh, Sunbeam, can you, you, I've seen you volunteering here the last couple days. Uh, what brought you to this protest and what made you want to be involved in it? Um, well, I, I for, I've, I've been an activist for years. And I always feel like everyone says that they care or we protest, we do our thing. But here it's actually like secure this location, you know, and give it back to the people. And everyone's enjoying themselves and everyone's working together, you know. To me that shows that, you know what, it does give me hope that, you know, we can create change. You know, and after, after a while you just feel like nothing's ever going to change. And then this this happened, you know, and it feels like you know what we do care because we care about each other. Yeah. You know, that's the that's the message. It's like Black Lives Matter. We we're making that statement, you know, that you know they're they're our friends and our family. You know, they're our they're you know they they deserve they deserve the same rights as everyone else. It's insane to think. I agree. All people should be treated the same. To think that we have to fight for it in 2020. Yeah. So can I ask you, are you from the area here? Or where, where, how'd you come to be in, around this area right now? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I did, I did come up uh, from Portland. Oh yeah, um, a Portland guy. Yeah. A person. Yeah. Well, actually, I actually have she, her. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. That's why facial feminization surgery needs to be. Uh, well, you got a mask on and glasses and everything. Yeah. True. I do have a purse. Yeah. But you know, I'm trying. Yeah. I'm not. You know. I'm, you know, I'm not boobing it up out here, so it's kind of <laughs> difficult to tell. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, um... Well, let me ask you this. You talked about change a lot. It seems very important to you. What, in this situation, uh, with the protests and the Occupy and the riots and, and this autonomous zone, and just in general in life, it's not like a, a, a value of yours. What What is it that you want changed? Well... I mean, there's there's quite a few demands. Um, I I I leave I leave that back, you know, for for the people who've done more than me. Yeah. You know, I can't. I'm not taking credit for anything. Well, I'm not. I'm not saying what do you want to do personally yourself, but what do you want to see happen as a result of all these movements? Well, especially here, like I would love to see this police station turn into a community center. Um, we don't really need them. Yeah. We don't need them here. Um, and, um, you know, I would love to see this, uh, expanded, you know, throughout the city, but throughout the country as well. It's this idea that, you know, we can coexist peacefully together. You know, there's some disagreements, but that's natural. That's humanity. Yeah. You know, people are going to have disagreements. I agree. You know, uh, that's. That's the reason we had arbitration arbitration in the first place. You know, you have people that, you know, come together to, you know, they're impartial to decide, you know, what's best. And the way that we stand, handle, handle uh, things here, it's pretty, it's it's really fair, you know. And, and everybody just cares about each other. It's a beautiful thing. And some people here, some people here are just taking in the ambiance at the festival. Um, and there's, there's, you know... A, yeah, I've heard a lot of the more intense activists and protesters calling the people that he, are here hanging out and partying, they're calling that uh, Coachella. Yeah, and you know, <laughs> and the thing is, like, about the way I see it is, it's like, it's okay to celebrate a victory. Yeah. But it's different if you're just kind of, I, 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 the way I see it is, I want people to still be able to enjoy themselves. Yeah. This isn't, this isn't a uh, oppressive regime. You know, people should still be allowed to have fun, enjoy themselves, to be able to see that you can, you can, you can have a good life this way. Do you know what I mean? We can treat each other well in this this way. Yeah. You know, in the way that society is structured now, the, I would love to see it like this, the whole country, like this. And people look at it and go, well, oh, uh, oh, uh. Oh. No, this is the way I would like to see it. The way that the, the love here, the love here, is something that is it has impressed me. This town, this community has shown me that like, because I used to be really depressed as of recently. I was very depressed and I was very suicidal. 
and I thought, well, it's over. You know, there's not, it's never going to change. Nothing's ever going to happen. It's, it's, I, I quit. And then this happened. And then I realized, you know what? There is still love in the world. People still care about one another. And it's beautiful and it made me cry. You know, and I, I got down here. I dropped a good job. I just got a raise that I, that I rejected. Um, I, 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 I left my house. I had a nice, I had a nice place. Um, good job. I left all that to be here. Wow. Well, thank you for being so candid about your pain. I know that that's uh, not easy for everyone to talk about. And I also like the way you talk about it. You're not, you're, you're, you're being candid and, and open about it, but you don't seem to be seeking self uh, pity from other people, and you don't be, seem to be self pitying yourself. But yeah, um, no, I, don't, I don't. Yeah, pity, pity. Life is hard, man. And from what I gather, it seems like you've got a unique road. I've, I've had a, uh, a unique road as well. Yeah. And I just, I encourage you to do whatever you need to do to be you and, and keep yourself sane and happy. As long as you're not hurting other people, it's nobody else's business what you're doing. The way I you see get to work your demons out on your own terms. Thank you very much. I, I, I appreciate that. And you know, uh, that's the way I see it. The way I see it is like, I got love for everybody, except for those people who have love for no one. You know, they, they just, they're just looking to hurt other people because of, I don't care, I'm not their therapist. If you're trying to hurt someone because you hate you hate them because of the color of their skin or because of the, you know, of the way that they identify. Yeah. Um, you know. Uh, you know something that helps me out with that? You. I've got, I've gone through some, some crusty times in my life where I've gotten pretty, pretty uh, unpleasant. And I think a lot of that came out of just uh, despair and, and just deep unhappiness and maybe depression and yeah. so it's hard it's hard and I'm not saying I do it all the time and I'm not trying to get down on you like you should do this you know I'm not I'm not yeah. that at all but I'm saying something helps me to try to do is when you see those people they're just so nasty like treat them the way they treat them how look at them the way you would be if you were acting like that like uh, it, rather than turning them into like some train villain well, that's here, here, tying a woman to a werewolf tracks so remember that they're probably acting like that because they're hurting well you know here's the reality the reality is, is that i actually used to know how they feel yeah i used to actually think like that yeah and the thing is is that um that person that i was is someone i is someone i i faintly remember yeah and that's also the, like that same person i would still kick their ass <laughs> do you know if i if i ran into the old me you didn't care about anybody but themselves. I yeah. would kick the shit out of myself for how, how for how. how you gotta forgive yourself. You can't forgive other people too. Forgive yourself. I, I I agree to an extent. If if they're harming other people, you gotta do what you can and are able to in order to help people and yeah, reduce I mean, but harm. Th but that's that's what it's about. I mean, uh, you know, I I've been bullied as a kid. You know, and the thing is, is I, uh, what I learned is if I just left my bully alone, they never went away. Yeah. You know, one day I punched my bully in the mouth knock them out they're my friend after that yeah so yeah for a little while and then you know it, i just couldn't trust them and they, they were stealing from me i mean it is what it is yeah. you know we're we're kids and it was like you know it is just what it is you know it's just a, it's just it's just the way it was but I, I, what i learned is that it you know if you're going to address a bully sometimes like you got to hit them yeah you know and and and, and you know, let them know, let them know you're not going to take that shit anymore. And that's, you know, that's what's cool about this too. You know, fought hard for this place, you know, they fought hard. But I'll know that like, you know, we're not going to take this shit anymore. Black Lives Matter. You know what? I know that. I think I'm going to end the interview here. Okay, that's sounds then, good. And then I'm going to go do some errands. And then uh, I'll see you around. I'm going to be at the booth volunteering again. All right, cool. um, But I would like to continue this conversation again later. I think uh, me and you would have uh, some some good, deeper conversations. Yeah, for sure. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you for the interview. Oh, thank you.